Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm glad you could join me for evening prayer for Sunday, May the 15th, 2011. It's the fourth week of Easter. The scripture for this service, Psalm 103, verse 1 to 19. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 15 to 29. And the cat close from Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1 through 3, 11, 14, and 18 and 19. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My soul gives thanks to you, my beloved God. Alleluia. Psalm 103. My soul gives thanks to you, my beloved God. All my being blesses your holy name. My soul gives thanks to you and never forgets your blessings. You forgive my guilt and you heal every one of my ills. You redeem my life from the grave and you crown me with love and compassion. You fill my life with good things and you renew my youth like the eagles. You do deeds of justice, give judgment for all who are oppressed. Your ways were made known to Moses your deed to Israel's children. You are compassion and love, slow to anger, rich in mercy. You will not always chide. You will not be angry forever. You do not treat us according to our sins, nor do you repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is your love for those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far do you remove our sins. As parents have compassion for their children, so you have pity on those who fear you. For you know of what we are made and remember that we are dust. And as for us, our days are like grass. We flower like the flower of the field. The wind blows and we are gone and our place never sees us again. But your love is everlasting upon those who fear you. Your justice reaches out to children's children, when they keep your covenant in truth, when they keep your will in their mind. You have set your throne in heaven, and your kingdom rules over all. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My soul gives thanks to you, my beloved God. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 7, beginning at verse 15. Nothing that enters us from the outside makes us impure. It is what comes out of us that makes us impure. If you have ears to hear, then listen. When Jesus got home away from the crowd, the disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are you also incapable of understanding? Don't you see that whatever enters us from the outside cannot make us impure? It doesn't enter our heart, just our stomach, and then it passes out into the sewer. And in this way Jesus pronounced that all food was clean. And he went on, It is what comes out of us that makes us unclean, for it is from within, from our hearts, that evil intentions emerge, promiscuity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, obscenity, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evils come from within and make us impure. And Jesus left Gennesaret and went to the territory of Tyre and Sidon, and there he went into a certain house and he wanted no one to recognize him, but he could not pass unrecognized. A woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She approached Jesus and fell at his feet. Now this woman was a Greek by birth and begged Jesus to expel the demon from her daughter. And he told her, let the children of the household satisfy themselves at the table first. It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. 
Yes, she replied, yes, Rabbi, but even the dogs under the table eat the family scraps. And Jesus said to her, for saying this, you may go home happy. The demon has left your daughter. And when she got home, she found her daughter in bed and the demon gone. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Alleluia. A song from the prophet Isaiah. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Most High has risen upon you. Your gates shall always be open, day and night they shall not be shut, so that nations shall bring you their wealth, with their rulers led in procession. Violence shall no more be heard in your land, devastation or destruction within your borders. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you by night. But God Most High will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.